don't know where the time goes, but after 12 years together, you're stunning as on the day I met you, perhaps even more so. I loved and still love being beside you. You pull me into the present, and the world fades out of focus. The first time I met you, you were very tipsy. We were at a Deutsche Bank networking event the day before our final round interviews. No one was drinking. We were all focused on networking and landing that offer, with the exception of you. You were clearly partaking and having the time of your life. I bring up this story not to embarrass you, but because it perfectly illustrates what I like the most about you, which is that you bring the fun. I had a blast with you during our 12 years together, and my life feels a lot fuller with you in it. Today is a day of celebration, a day that's over a decade in the making. People far more qualified and more experienced than I can outline the work necessary for marriage. But in my eyes, I would say you're more than ready. Twelve years might even be a little too ready. But you guys have been living it day in, day out. If you two made it through COVID crammed together with two dogs and three large and grown man children, <laughs> you guys can do it anyway. Over time, you become my most valued thought partner. I know that no matter what life throws at us, we'll figure it out together. I vow to give you all of my love whenever you need it, and even when you don't want it. Like when you're watching TV and I want to show you my sick dance moves. <laughs> I vow to be more open to your wild ideas, such as writing our own vows and doing a first dance, to continue to make space for fun, and to be your best and, su and most supportive teammate. Susan, I can't wait to grow old with you and see where life takes us from here. From this day forward, for better or for worse, richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, I promise that I will love you and whoever you become for the rest of the day. I've never met two people who are more perfectly matched, two people whose strengths most plainly offset the other's weaknesses. And I think it's clear to all of us who know them that as different as they are in certain ways, it somehow made them exactly the right fit for one another.